Okay, this is an example of how to solve a problem using Ampere's law. So what we have here um, is a case where we have a magnetic field that has the same magnitude, 1.2 milliteslas everywhere, but on the top half of this figure, the magnetic field points to the right, whereas on the bottom half, it points to the left. And on this plot is already drawn an Amperian path, and that Amperian path has a width of 2.3 centimeters and a height of 1.6 centimeters. And we're asked to determine the magnitude and the direction of the current that's encircled by this Amperian path. So the first thing that we should do is write down Ampere's law. Ampere's law says that the dot product of B dot DL is equal to mu naught times the encircled current. And that left-hand side is what's called the magnetic circulation. So let's go ahead and focus on that left-hand side. So our line integral of B dot DL, which gives us the circulation, we can actually divide this up uh, into the various pieces of the particular Amperian path. So what we're going to consider is the top the right side, the bottom, and the left-hand side. And we're actually going to go around this path in a clockwise manner. So let's start with the top. Then we have the right-hand side. We have the bottom. And we have the left-hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and evaluate each of these. So for the top, as we move along our Empyrean path on the top, we are moving in a direction that is parallel to the magnetic field. So that means that B dot DL is just going to be equal to B times the width of our Empyrean rectangle there. Now as we move to the right-hand side, for the right-hand side, DL is going to point down, which is at a 90 degree angle to the magnetic field everywhere. And that means that that dot product, B dot DL, is going to be zero. Now for the bottom, again, we have a uniform magnetic field, and as we move along our path, we're parallel to the magnetic field, so we get BW. And for the left-hand side, we get zero. So this, in total, is equal to 2 times BW. And we can actually put in our values here. We have 2, 1.2 milliteslas, and 2.3 centimeters. And we wind up getting, uh, for our magnetic circulation, 5.52 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla meters. Now to find the uh, encircled current, we're just going to use Ampere's law. We've solved for the left-hand side of Ampere's law. Now let's just plug in and get our encircled current. So our encircled current is going to be equal to our circulation of the magnetic field, 5.52 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla meters. And that's going to be divided by mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amp. And this gives us 43.9 amps. Okay, so we now know how much current is encircled by our loop, and now we're asked to find the direction. So we're going to do this using the right-hand rule. Now, as we go along our path, we're going along in our path in a clockwise manner. And our total circulation of the magnetic field in the end is a positive value. So the right-hand rule says that if we sweep our fingers in that clockwise direction, the thumb of our right hand will point in the direction of the current. So that says from that right-hand rule, we get that our current must be going into the page. And that's it. box our answers here and we're done.